Ladies and gentlemen, hello, good night. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hope y'all are doing well. If it's nighttime on your end, I uh, hope you're having a good night. If it's daytime, hope you're having a good, uh, good day. Uh, but let me say this it's an honor to be back here live in Holy City uh, of Karbala with season two of hashtag L and T, L for the late, N for the night, T for the talk. And we are live in the late night talk with me, your host, Ahmed Ali. Now, let me say this before we get into the show. This is the second episode, and the first episode was uh, was nice. But we're hoping the second episode would kick it off with a nice start. But before we do that, let's go and check out what's trending in today's world. So starting off with Syria, a hundred people, hundred civilians were killed. Um, this has been recorded that it's the largest, deadliest attack uh, in the eastern um, uh, city, uh, in the eastern enclave of Ghouta. And uh, they say 20 uh, were, killed, uh, were killed of the 100 people. I, I hope Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, you know, give them mercy and show them mercy. And may this massacre uh, and this chaos end because really we don't need more dead people around the world, especially Muslims and Shia, everyone, even Christians, anyone. We don't, we, we don't need any more dead people. Uh, now moving on, the World Health Organization warns of a soaring uh, of measles uh, in Europe and they're saying that this is uh, spreading in Italy uh, and Romania and Ukraine and they're saying that uh, MMR vaccines are the cure for this. So if you do see any rashes on your skin, uh, do go to the nearest clinic and try to get yourself fixed out. But let's go and check what today's topic is. So welcome back. Now, tonight's topic will make you a millionaire or it's going to make you a scholar, a knowledgeable person. Now, in both cases, you're not losing anything. Now, according to Forbes, you guys all know what Forbes is. According to Forbes, there are almost 2,000 billionaires around the world from the $92.1 billion um, chairperson uh, of the largest private charitable uh, foundation Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation uh, and Microsoft owner do I have to really mention who owns Microsoft really guys it's Bill Gates I mean look at this guy this guy is two ninety two point one billion dollars rich uh, and we're chilling uh, the new billionaires like Ty Lee uh, who is uh, uh, the SHI international IT provider CEO of SHI international IT provider uh, which she happens to be uh, owning the largest uh, company of, H uh, of IT provider as a woman in the United States. Now this year, the total number of billionaires is 11% higher than last year and 13% higher than the year before that. Now sadly and ironically, none of them are Shia. So good luck building your Hassanis and your Mambargas. Uh, although, uh, all due respect to our uh, Shia rich people, we have a lot of Shia rich people. Uh, out there and hopefully we can uh, continue supporting our Imam Bargaz and, uh, and our Husseiniyas. But yeah, uh, none of them are billionaires. Inshallah, they become billionaires uh, and uh, be on Forbes list. But anyways, uh, let me ask you this. In your opinion, what's causing this number uh, to keep on rising? Is it the level of education uh, that's affecting this? Or do you have to have attained a certain degree of knowledge to becoming wealthy? Now, we all know uh, that Bill Gates is a Harvard dropout. Uh, but you look at Amazon CEO Bezos. This guy is $109 billion rich. Even if I get my wish list out right now and trying to check everything, I'll, I'll, I'll finish it. I won't even spend $100 million yet. And this guy's $109 billion rich. Uh, but yeah, we can see that he's a Princeton University alumni. Uh, now, this says... You can be stupid and rich, and we all know who that is, uh, the person that does uh, this hand, hand gesture. Uh, do it. Uh, oh, he's right there. Oh, he's right there, the cute uh, Donald Trump. Uh, but yeah, you can be stupid and rich, or you can be smart and rich, just like Bezos. Now, being smart isn't just a walk in the park. You have to go through elementary, middle school, high school, and university. Alhamdulillah, I had to go through them. 
and that's 16 years of your precious life in order to enlighten the small mind, your small mind. So 16 years just for you to graduate from university and then nowadays when you graduate from university, sometimes you're jobless, you know, and you have to pay back the debts uh, and, and the, the university loans. But 16 years of your precious life, giving them up in order to make right decisions or regretful decisions. Like we have the Alan Stanford, uh, for example, who was the chairman of the Stanford uh, Financial Group. Now he's serving 110 years uh, in the penitentiary in the United States, uh, 110 years uh, for money laundering uh, and mail fraud. Now even if you were to live, what, 200 years, which is impossible for now, uh, but anyways, just forget that. But this guy is sentenced for 110 years uh, for mail fraud and money laundering. Now, moving on, there's only one question. And there's only one fact that's out there. Who doesn't love the smell of cold hard dough? Money, green, blue, greens in Canada, blues, reds, whatever. Who, brown, the hundred dollar bills of Canada. Who doesn't love the smell of money? I mean, uh, money can get you a nice Ferrari, a red Ferrari, you know, you can show off with. Uh, it can get you a, a nice mansion with a beach view in, in, in Miami or in anywhere else. Uh, but is money or is knowledge or will knowledge be able to get you that as well? Now, knowledge can help you strategically plan the future, but is it necessarily helpful in gaining wealth? Now, today's question is, would you rather be wealthy or would you rather be knowledgeable? Dial the number below and call us and comment on today's topic. And the topic is, which the question is, would you rather be wealthy or knowledgeable? The number below, shown right now, uh, is the number you dial via WhatsApp. Tall free number, if you have data, if you have Wi-Fi. Uh, I don't know who does in the world today, but um, yeah. So dial the number below and uh, call, put down your falafel sandwich. Uh, the number is right there, uh, 774-067-1836. Or you can go and comment on our live Facebook. We are live on Facebook as well. You can comment on there. Let me know uh, what you guys think. Uh, about today's topic and about today's question. Would you rather be wealthy or would you rather be knowledgeable? So guys, we're gonna go into a very short break so we can get the phone calls ready and we'll back very shortly. Welcome back, dear viewers. It's 11.10 right now, and we are live from the holy city of Karbala. Uh, before that quick th three second break, I think that was, three second break, uh, the question right there, we're talking about it. Would you rather be wealthy, or would you rather be knowledgeable? The number right there shown below, you can call, uh, and tell us what you think. Would you rather be wealthy, or would you rather be knowledgeable? Wealthy, like Bill Gates, uh, like Ty Lee, uh, like Bezos, oh my God, but $109 billion. Uh, yeah, 109 billion dollars. That's rich. That's filthy rich. Uh, but yeah, this guy uh, got that money. Just uh, he is a Princeton uh, alumni, you know, Princeton University alumni, um, who got that degree. And Subhanallah, uh, the richest man in history, uh, as they say. Or would you rather be knowledgeable, like our scholars? And with all due respect to our scholars, uh, but you know. Uh, they are rich in knowledge. Uh, let's just leave it at that. Uh, rich in knowledge. Uh, but yes, do call us in uh, at the number shown below. Uh, and inshallah, we'll get to find out whether you would rather be wealthy or knowledgeable. We'll go back to a short break and we'll be back very shortly. Welcome back for, with a, a second, three second uh, short break. Uh, but yes, we are getting a few phone calls in, but um, due to uh, the poor connection here, 
Uh, we're not able to get them through. Hopefully, inshallah, that can be get, uh, resolved within a few seconds. Uh, and inshallah, I think we do have a, a caller. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Yes, salamun alaikum. Ah, sorry, yes, the, so the line was disconnected. Um, we do advise to call again. Uh, but yes, uh, do call in right now because we are live uh, in the holy city of Karbala. We are getting uh, a few messages going on. Um, but yes, uh, so one of the people that we got right now, um, uh, his name is Ali Muhammad. He's saying that uh, in order to reach wealth, we need to attain knowledge and knowledge will get you wealthy uh, but not all the time sometimes making a decision while being knowledgeable can ruin your life but also at the same time you need wealth and knowledge in order to be happy and satisfied yes uh, that, that according to you uh, that is what satisfies you of course uh, at the same time a lot of people uh, do understand uh, how knowledge works uh, but yes, going back to the second topic or the second uh, comment, uh, shall I say? Uh, we have Hussein Ali. Hussein Ali. Are these guys brothers? Uh, but yeah, Hussein Ali. Uh, he's saying. Uh, sorry, let me just pick that up. Yeah. Uh, so he's saying that uh, sometimes wealth is more important than knowledge. Um, okay, uh, sometimes wealth is more important than knowledge because wealth can get you any sort of education. It can get you any sort of means. Everything is possible when you have money, but when you have knowledge sometimes isn't enough to get you the money you seek or the life you seek. Um, sometimes uh, we have. Uh, yes, do, so we do have a call. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, Salamun Alaikum. Salamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Salam Rahmatullah. Uh, so, yes, the, the, the question for today, sorry for that. Uh, the question for today, the guys in the control room, they're, they're speaking to me. Uh, but yes, uh, so the question for tonight is would you rather be wealthy? Or would you rather be knowledgeable? Go ahead. I would rather be knowledgeable. Sorry? Hello? No, I would rather be... Okay, so... Uh-huh, okay. So that's good. Would you mind telling us why? Uh, so the call was disconnected. Uh, we do advise to call again, but yeah, I mean, you'd rather be knowledgeable, that's your opinion, that's good, bro. Uh, but yeah, alhamdulillah. Uh, but yeah, so the first caller for today says he would rather be knowledgeable, uh, alhamdulillah. Uh, now the second break, uh, sorry, the sec, why, why, why do I keep on saying second break? Uh, but yeah, the, the second name that we have uh, is Sarah Hussein. Sarah Hussein. Uh, she's saying, I would rather be knowledgeable because attaining knowledge can sometimes get you into a nice university, uh, will get you a very nice degree. Uh, she is a doctor herself, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, and she's making a ton of money. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. It's good to you, you, you let us know. Uh, but yes, uh, so a lot of people are saying that um, someone said that money can get you any, everything. Um, a lot of people also said uh, that wealth uh, can get you a lot of things and knowledge can get you. Uh, and we do have another caller. Uh, Zainab from Iraq. Salamu alaikum. Hello, salamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Welcome to tonight's uh, uh, topic. Your question. And the question um, for tonight is... I'd rather is be knowledgeable because through knowledge you can gain wealth and you can gain everything else. Okay, so jump around. But with okay. wealth, you can have wealth, but you can't really... You won't have time to attain your knowledge because you'll be busy with guarding your wealth. Sorry, can you just repeat the last sentence? With with wealth, most people they guard their wealth rather than going for knowledge. Uh huh. Okay. 
That's great. Would you elaborate more on that? Most people, when they're granted wealth, they're scared that they're going to lose it. Okay, so they yeah. start guarding it. Mm -hmm. They don't really care about knowledge and, and everything else. Mm -hmm. So when you have knowledge, you can gain wealth. You can get, you know, uh, go through steps to getting to to getting to wealth. Yes. So I, from on my opinion, I think knowledge is more important than wealth. So knowledge is more important than wealth. Okay, um, yeah. that's th th that's a good uh, viewpoint. Uh, but at the end of the day, everyone is entitled to their own. Uh, viewpoint, but yes, uh, we do thank you very much uh, for sharing your opinion with us uh, and letting us know uh, why you thought knowledge was more important. The wealth, uh, and of course, to summarize uh, what the other uh, commenters, uh, the people who sent messages, and also uh, the people who called us as well, they said uh, knowledge uh, is more important than wealth, and we got one person saying uh, that wealth is more important than knowledge because you can get any education and education right now isn't cheap uh, education right now you're looking at uh, as minimum uh, as what six thousand seven thousand uh, dollars depending on the university um, that's if you're a citizen of that country and if you're a foreigner you're looking at 15 plus uh, but yes uh, we do thank you very much uh, Sister Zainab for calling us uh, tonight no problem no problem thank you very much uh, now uh, we go back uh, to statistics and we go back uh, to what scholars have said uh, about uh, wealth and knowledge. Now, uh, we also have uh, other commenters uh, as well. Uh, we do have uh, Brother Thaqif. Uh, we do have Brother Thaqif uh, from the UK. He's saying, I would rather uh, bo choose both because both uh, will make you richer and will make you more knowledgeable um, so both of them at the same time uh, will help you a lot um, that's a good solution you know be in the middle but sometimes you can't be on the fence sometimes you have to uh, we, we, we have to choose uh, a side but we do have another caller uh, from India Zakaria Asalaamu Alaikum Wa Alaikum Asalaam brother Wa Alaikum Asalaam Wa Rahmatullah uh, now, uh, welcome to the show. Once again, Zakari also called in the previous episode as well. I'm guessing uh, that he called in the previous episode. But yes, um, so uh, tonight's so question much. is, would you rather be wealthy or would you rather be knowledgeable? Everyone said knowledge, but be honest. Yeah, go on, be honest. I would probably well, wealth, this but, is yeah. an interesting topic. I would say knowledge is wealth. For example, in our education system, mm -hmm. we need to achieve a uh, merit through knowledge yes get it or the other option is you buy a seat right so knowledge actually helps you protects knowledge protects you while you have to guard wealth okay and over time wealth decreases if you keep spending on it but the more you make use of knowledge it increases and what you get through wealth disappears as soon as wealth disappears mm -hmm. but what you achieve through knowledge will just remain even after you and a very common thing is you know if you're too rich you, you're arrogant. Yes. That kind of gets you a lot of enemies. But if you're knowledgeable, you get a lot of friends. You get appreciation. People are there to follow you. Knowledge is the only kind of wealth that multiplies when you give it away. But wealth, money gets over as you keep spending on it. So if you want to be a humble person, I think you yes. need to achieve through hard work and that's through knowledge. There are a lot of cases where wealth has made people arrogant. The rich brats around the world who use wealth and uh, instead of uh, you know being a mediation of serving people they, they, they kind of misuse it I think knowledge is something which is more powerful than wealth and knowledge will get you wealth that's a good viewpoint make you wealthy over time mm -hmm. thank you very much thank you very much Zakaria yeah. uh, for your opinion we do have yeah. another person who said knowledge is more important uh, than wealth uh, because knowledge can get you in a lot of places uh, and we do respect that uh, at the same time um, you never know whether you have the money you know or, or if, if these two if, if, if they were on the line you know a uh, million dollars or you can be the most knowledgeable person in the world which one would you choose you know for me sometimes uh, isn't yeah, it depends on the situation really if you're trying to be rich Okay, if you're trying to be knowledgeable, 
uh, it's okay as well. But at the same time, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit hard to choose which one, you know. Uh, when the money isn't laid out right there, a lot of people would say wealth, uh, sorry, would say knowledge, uh, but when the, when, when the money is laid down, uh, some people might change their mind. But inshallah, inshallah, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep everyone firm on their decisions. Um, but uh, I think uh, we're having uh, Musa that called earlier, said, uh, sorry the connection wasn't that great but i would rather choose uh, knowledge and he cut the phone but yeah he would rather choose knowledge and uh, uh sorry yeah he would rather choose knowledge uh because knowledge um can really get you everything you need whether islamic or scientific all of them are uh, acceptable as well thank you very much uh musa for commenting and calling uh tonight uh but yes, I mean, in every segment, inshallah, in, in, in every episode, uh, the first segment will be uh, based on statistics, uh, will be uh, scientific, sometimes will be economic, uh, and we'll try to focus on uh, more what really uh, advances us and, and develops us. Uh, but the third segment also uh, will be the viewpoints of Grand Ayatollah uh, Sayyid Sadiq al-Shirazi uh, and um, the viewpoint of uh, the channel uh, as well. Uh, now, uh, the one time a person came to Ali Talib alayhi salam uh, and he said, uh, O commander of the faithful, what should I gain, knowledge or wealth? Imam Ali Talib alayhi salam said, gain knowledge because the collection of knowledge, the gaining of knowledge is more profitable than gaining wealth. Now this is Amin Mu'mineen alayhi salam, Imam Ali Talib uh, who's saying this? Now the man then asked uh, about the benefits of gaining knowledge uh, compared to wealth and the Imam replied, he says, knowledge over time, uh, money over time uh, decreases and the importance of knowledge increases. And that's absolutely true because we do see, we, we do see the currencies uh, from time to time dropping and then yet knowledge, uh, whoever is knowledgeable, uh, his respect uh, to his nation or from his nation is at the same level, if not uh, uh, higher, uh, if, if, it does, if it does not increase at the same time. Now, Ali Nabi Talib alayhi salam then said, uh, you protect wealth while knowledge protects you and that's 100% correct. Um, we're so scared that where our money is going, uh, we do budgets and stuff, just, just not for us you know, to, to spend extra money. Um, we, we, we try to limit ourselves, we're scared that someone might take our money, we keep our money in the, in, in, in the deepest pocket, uh, the last uh, pocket in our, belt, uh, in our um, wallet, just for someone not to rob us, and we're always looking around. However, knowledge protects you and also protects your money as well, because if you're working for a corporation, if you're working uh, for uh, a specific, my, my watch is nice, uh, but yeah, if you're working for a corporation for, or, or for a business, um, uh, yeah, I was cut off right there. Uh, but yeah, if, if, if you're working for a corporation or a business, um, you have to know your rights. And if you don't know your rights, sometimes you can be eaten. Uh, your, your right can be, uh, you can be deprived of your right. And we always see that in movies when someone doesn't know their right and then they, they get fired or didn't sign up for their retirement program or, or something like that. Um, so you always have to be safe. That's why you need to be knowledgeable. Now, Imam Ali Talib alayhi salam, he says, uh, knowledge can help you in making money, but money cannot buy knowledge. This is true, and uh, a lot of people uh, might think that why, why, why can't money buy knowledge? Because honestly, um, when you're a high school dropout, uh, you need to continue uh, your education in order to, 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 to get knowledgeable. Um, so you can't just buy a degree. So you need to go through the same path that the knowledgeable person went through. And maybe he became rich or maybe he stayed as, as a scholar. Uh, but yes, now this is the hadith of Ibn Talib alayhi salam. Now, an elaboration by Grand Antullah Shirazi, uh, Sayyid Sadiq al-Shirazi on this point he says, know that the aim, the ilm or knowledge, signifies the fundamentals uh, of religion 
and the provisions of Islam, its ethics and guidelines and guidance to those who go astray. A knowledge that does not benefit its owner draws him or her far away from the Almighty Allah. And this is absolutely true uh, because uh, at the end of the day, uh, one can become knowledgeable um, through wealth and others can become uh, knowledgeable uh, or they can become wealthy through knowledge. We would like to, we would like to thank you very much uh, for joining us tonight. This show is live every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday, 11 p.m. Karbala time. Uh, your comments were very beneficial. Um, your calls were also very beneficial, telling us why uh, we sometimes might have an idea about knowledge, but we don't know uh, what to do with it. The callers did, uh, some of them did actually tell us why, uh, uh, instead of saying knowledge, and that's it. But yes, thank you very much for calling tonight. Uh, and also, uh, we are live every uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, once again, live uh, on Facebook and live uh, on TV as well, as you can see right now. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.